welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get started, I want to let you know that uh, we will be starting our next contest um, next week on Monday, I guess. Um, it'll be a regular trivia contest, as we always done, but it'll be the video trivia contest, which is, you have to watch this to, to enter. And um, the... Uh, the winner of that contest will receive a nice, very soft uh, throw blanket. Well, here's a picture of it right here. There you go. Nice, big, and comfortable. Um, got to remember, you got to be subscribed to win. Um, so you may as well go ahead and subscribe right now. And let your friends know about this. Um, who knows, they may win it and wrap it up and give it to you for Christmas. I ask you to please share this out too and uh, that'll let some people know. Appreciate it. And you're doing great at sharing these, by the way, and the subscribers are going up good. Um, today's video uh, is on something I found. Uh, it, 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 just trying to picture it is kind of amazing to me. Um, George Lindsay, who played Goober, uh, going nuts, going irate over something over the Andy Griffith show. Uh, can you imagine that? I have a hard time imagining it, but it's true. Um, he joined the Andy Griffith show cast in the fourth season um, as cousin to Mayberry Gas Station and attendant Gomer Pyle, played by Jim Neighbors. Uh, of course, you know the lines, Judy, 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 and... Okay, you guys, come on, you guys. Um, what you may not know is um, his uh, initial resentment towards the show. Uh, and he detailed this memo in his memoir, uh, Goober in a Nutshell, uh, the anger he felt after the airing of a specific episode. Um, uh, Andy Griffith had met nightclub performer Jim Neighbors in 1963 through a mutual friend. Uh, he'd heard that Neighbors was performing and went to see what uh, he'd heard would be a great show. Daniel Devise wrote in 2015's Andy and Don Making of a Friendship in a Classic American uh, TV Show that the mutual friendship, or the mutual friend, uh, escorted Andy um, to meet Jim Neighbors after his show. Uh, Andy caught up with him on the sidewalk outside. Uh, he says, I don't know what you do, but it's magic. Whatever it is, if a part ever comes up for you on our show, I'll give you a call. Um, then the role of Gomer Powell came up. Uh, the producers of the show originally had considered George Lindsay um, for the role of the dim-witted but gentle Gomer Powell. And uh, after Griffith had seen Jim Neighbors' nightclub performance, he asked them to put a hold on George Lindsay, um, not to hire him for the role until he and the creator, Shelton Leonard, had met with Neighbors. Um, Reuben recalled, uh, according to Vice, uh, so in comes Jim Neighbors. He has a script. He reads what he lacked in professionalism and an experience he made up for in a certain naive charm that he had. Um, now, Lindsay revealed he'd finished, he'd visited the show set a couple of times, uh, hoping Griffith would notice and like him enough to keep him in mind. And Griffith did, and allowed Lindsay to read for the role of Gomer Pyle. Lindsay was granted the part only to have it taken away and given to Jim Neighbors. Uh, Neighbors debuted in his role of Gomer Powell in the show uh, Man in a Hurry. Um, Lindsay watched Neighbors, a self-admitted acting amateur, shine in the role meant for him. In his memoir, Goober, The Goober Actor, uh, described the range of emotions he experienced from his living room couch. Um... They brought uh, Jim on as Gomer in an episode called, uh, in, the ep in that episode, um, he wrote, it was a small part, but his performance in the entire episode really worked. 
And when I was sitting in my living room after watching that first episode featuring Gomer, I jumped up from my chair in an absolute rage and kicked a tube out of the television set while screaming, that's my part, that's my part, that's my part. I just went completely nuts, and I was so upset about not getting that role. This was the perfect part for me. Eventually, of course, he was hired as Goober, uh, but he refused to speak to neighbors uh, for over a year after that. Um, just shows that you really don't know what goes on behind the scenes. And of course, later they became friends and, and got along. Uh, and, you know, but it just, I just cannot picture Goober going off like that, you know? Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget the contest starts on Monday uh, for this beautiful throw uh, blanket. It's very soft. Uh, actually, I haven't gotten it yet. I've ordered it. Um, and uh, don't forget the trivia question on the Facebook page. You have to be subscribed to enter the contest. So go ahead and subscribe now. And please share these out on Facebook. I appreciate all you're doing. And um, I had one of our friends on the page send me some pictures uh, of a restaurant that they had. Um where they had tables with some Andy Griffith pictures on it. I'm going to try and post them later. Uh, actually, I I'm, 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 I'm think I'm going to put them up uh, in tomorrow's video, if I can keep my mind straight also. So, anyway, have a great day. Um, see you tomorrow, and God bless. Mm -hmm.